I have been absolutely living for smoked out eyeliner. Let me show you how easy it is to achieve. First up, I have my entire face on and I have my lip on and I have put concealer on my eyes to use as my eye base. I never use primer, I always use a lighter concealer because I feel like the pigment of the shadows sticks to it and gets the best color payoff when it's a lighter base. My favorite palette, this is the one I always use for literally everything. I'm gonna go in with this color right here and just go in my crease to start our eye. So I'm just gonna drag this out, create a little bit of depth I'm not going to go super crazy on the actual eyeshadow on my eye because I want the focus to really be our smoked out wing. I am going to stamp this light color into the center of my eye and then I'm also going to highlight under my brow bone with the same color. just want this to be nice and bright. Okay, now that we have our full eye base down, I'm going to go in with a black waterproof eyeliner inside my waterline and then what I'm going to do is pretty much just keep dragging and extend the corner of my eye and follow the natural shape of my eye. So I'm not going to bring it too far upwards, it's going to go more outwards. I'm just going to follow the shape of my eye and this, is, this can be as messy as you want because we're going to smoke it out and I'm going to just apply a little bit right here too. Whenever I do my eyeliner, and this goes for any type of eyeliner that I do, I always bring it just right into a little bit before the middle of my eye, and then I'll just start again right here because that changes the shape. If I were to line my entire eye, it might look a little bit different. Sometimes that's a good thing, but if you're like me and you want it to be more foxy, then I would recommend stopping at one point. Okay, so we have messy eyeliner. I'm going to start without shadow on this little angled brush, and I'm going to start kind of dragging it outwards and upwards and just kind of fluffing the edges okay so now that we have a rough shape I'm gonna take one of these pointed eye brushes with a little bit of brown eyeshadow I'm gonna go in with this one right here and I'm gonna blur the edges a little bit more right on top of where we just placed that eyeliner just start going in with this warmer brown color and you're going to see that it's going to kind of make the eyeliner fade a bit, which is what we want because we want to make a gradient. That's what we're kind of going for. So we're not going to worry about the bottom part just yet. I'm going to go in with that brush that we used earlier in our crease and just kind of blend out where we just placed the other shadow. The trick is really just to blend until everything looks like there isn't a distinct line where you can't see where one shadow starts and ends. The only time we're gonna wanna see that is at the bottom and I'm, I'm gonna show you how we do it because it's gonna look good. I'm gonna do one more round of eyeliner just so we can get a little bit more darkness. And we're gonna blend one more time. Going in with a little bit more warmth just to add a little bit more depth that same brush that we used earlier. To match the top of the eye, we want to go in with that warm color on our bottom lid as well, just to bridge those two together and can make it look nice and smooth. Okay, so here's the thing. We could stop here. We have a really nice smoked out liner, but what I think makes a smoked liner look fabulous is adding a tiny line of black liquid eyeliner and then going over it a little bit more with some black shadow. Because when we do a smoky eye of any sort, we don't really want a lot of lines. The only place a line looks good is right here. It's going to make it nice and crisp and dark and really extend our eye outwards. So let me show you what that looks like. We're going to make it really small, take a little brush and then blend it upwards a little bit. Okay, so I have my little eyeliner right here and I'm following the line we already created kind of wisp it out. Don't want it to be too much. We are going to still blend it a little bit, but I like to put it right in the corner. Just follow the line that we made with the shadow. Look at that depth already, and we haven't blended it yet. Do the other side. Oh, like see, look at how crisp that looks. Yet yeah, still soft smoky. Okay, let's also put a little inner corner moment because we can't do without that. So 
all this is still wet, just drag the liquid upwards, kind of fluff it out. So you really have the different shades of black. Like, look at that. Let's do a little bit of mascara and a lash just for the full effect. Okay, and here is the final look. Smoked out liner, so easy. Let me know if you end up trying out this technique with the liquid eyeliner trick. I think it makes it look very precise, perfected, and so sultry and hot. Like, I feel sexy.